<laughs> Here we go. Another one, kind of this tough love. Would you, uh, Kevin would love to hear how you suggest our, we handle our 21 year son who is calling daily, basically threatening to leave treatment, saying, like, that's it. I'm walking off. You know, facility says that if my son walk, does walk off, there's little they can do. Kind of attaches to, I think, the first question or second question about, you know, like, when, when are we done, done? Like, uh, if, yep. if you have your loved one, if you're working with a family and their son walks off treatment, kind of walk through, you know, that question. Like if, if the mom called Kevin, Johnny walked off treatment, what, where do you go? So, you know, well, let's just take this situation where it's the daily threat. You know, uh, what I would say, uh, what I tell the family is, um, and, and this is a hard thing for them, but I'm like, stop taking the calls. You know, uh, I mean, I just tell, I mean, first of all, if he's going to walk out of treatment, where is he going to go? If he's 21 years old, I'm guessing he doesn't have, he's probably dependent upon you financially. Yeah. So I would just tell him, hey, look, plan A, plan B, if you want our support, you have to go to treatment. And then after treatment, you have to go to aftercare. And you have to stay sober. If you don't want our support, that's your choice. We will respect your choices as an adult. But we're not buying into this threatening game. That's over with, you know, and just that simple and that straightforward. And I, I mean, that's exactly how I play it. If you want my support, this is what it looks like. You got to be sober. You got to be if you're not in treatment, you got to be in aftercare. If you're not in aftercare, you got to be active in your recovery. You know, and, and that has to be, you have to be accountable. Consistency, accountability, and transparency. You know, consistency is we're going to do the same thing every day because it works. You know, accountability is we're going to talk to somebody. It doesn't have to be mom and dad, but we're going to talk to somebody that's keeping us accountable. And transparency is there's no, there's no secrets. Everything's right there on the table. It's all right there, you know, and, and that's how we live. Uh, and so my position with this family would be just go back to basics, say, hey, look, uh, I hear what you're saying, but I want to be clear. If you walk away, then you're walking away from our financial support. We love you. We will always love you. But you're walking away from our financial support. And we're not playing chicken with this kid. We don't have to. He doesn't have any assets. He doesn't have any, you know, he's got no chips. So just say, hey, that's your choice. I trust you, but the answer is no, you know. As a client, I know exactly this game. I mean, it's like when you come to this realization that you have no control, but yet you're you're faking control by sabotaging and just kind of making moms and dads life a living hell and, and thinking and knowing full well, like, yeah, look at that. I'm screwing with mom and dad because that's the only kind of control that I've done it far too many times. I, I mean, I, I, I've dealt with families when they're saying like he's threatening to leave and it's like, good, you know, I know what he's doing. So he's got no other option. So, but he wants to let you know that he's still got some kind of control. Let him know he doesn't. So I, I invented this game actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, and we think we did, but yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> you know, <that's laughs> yeah. I love it. I mean, I still, it's got me juiced up too. Just thinking when I have, zero things going for me i'm gonna screw with, i mean this is a, this is how sick addiction is i'm gonna screw with mom and dad the two people that have never left my side but yet i just want some kind of delusional control i know the game and 